Hi everyone, this is Chimmy from Chim's Thoughts coming at you with a new video. This time I will be benchmarking my current PC build so that, so that I'll have numbers to compare with my new PC build. Once it's finished, of course. <laughs> First off, I'll give a little details about my current PC build and its components and then we'll do some benchmarking. Currently, the PC build I'm using is uh, a case of Cooler Master, the Cosmos SE2. It's a nice case, it has done its job uh, pretty well. Uh, you will see pictures uh, of it right now. For the motherboard that it holds, it's the 990FX from ASRock. Uh, with the Killer Fatality Edition. The CPU in that one is the AMD FX8350. Uh, pretty good CPU, no complaints so far uh, about it. It has always done its job. Huh? Uh, RAM that it holds is the Corsair Vengeance series, 1866 MHz, 2x8 uh, GB for a total of 16 GB uh, for the people who can't calculate. <laughs> it has the Antec 700 Watt uh, power supply and uh, one SSD of Kingston HyperX, the 250 GB version and the GeForce GTX 960 4GB. First off, we will be doing a benchmark of the CPU and its rendering capabilities with uh, Cinebench. Cinebench is quite a good program for that. So, we'll start by opening that. And here it is. So, we'll do a uh, CPU test run right now and see how it fares. And it's finished. And as you can see, it didn't perform that well, right here. Well, a previous test I did was here, at 702. And now it benchmarked at uh, 401, which clearly shows that my CPU has seen better days and is not uh, currently performing anymore as it should which is kind of sad of course but yeah not really anything you can do about that so we'll close this one and we'll be going for I will also like to show you this uh, which uh, shows you the voltage I'm currently at it's the 1.46 it's running at the moment my CPU is overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz uh, it never gets hotter than 57 60 degrees on the core which is pretty okay with using a uh, water cooling eh? well an all-in-one water cooling loop from uh, cooler master the Nepton 240M and I've been pretty uh, satisfied with that uh, cooling solution because it always performed uh, as it should. Going into the graphic card benchmark, uh, we will be using Heaven, uh, Unigen Heaven benchmark, which is uh, quite a known program for this. So this, as you can see, there is a little overclock on uh, the GPU. I have the power target up to 100. 15% GPU temp target is 80% the clock offset is only 50 and the memory clock offset is around 100 it's not a big uh, overclock also I didn't touch the, the voltages uh, fan curve is uh, just standard 
so we'll see how it fares in uh, Heaven Benchmark. So, that completed this benchmark. I let it run for two times uh, and uh, as you can see the minimum frame rates per second was 23 and the max 99. I did a score of uh, 1208. It's not bad, but of course could still be better. So let's close this. Power-wise, if you look here, temperature, it never went over 63 degrees, which is pretty okay uh, for a graphic card like this. And it did a good 1391 MHz, the memory 3500 and the GPU shader 2780. So my system is not bad, but that this is why I'm building a new one, because yeah, as you could have seen on the Cinebench, eh, my CPU is not performing anymore as it should. Eh, my graphic card is still doing pretty okay, but eh, there is always room for improvement, of course. So, hence why I'm building the new PC I'm building. Again, a video of that is uh, already started and on my channel. So, that concludes this video. I hope you all liked this video, I hope you all enjoyed it and I would, I would like to thank you all for watching and I would ask you to subscribe if you like to, leave a like if you like to, leave a comment if you like to and I will see you all in the next one.